Okay guys, what I'm doing now, since uh, I can't really get a good angle on the camera, so I'm just gonna show you the first coat. But I'm taking the heat gun and heating the inside of the box up. Now I don't wanna heat it up so much it's gonna bend everything and warp it. But I wanna heat it up to get the humidity out of there. And so my first coat's gonna look good. Let me throw some more lighting in here. Helps a little bit. And of course, the paint. Shake it up real good. And all you're doing is misting. Sometimes it gets a little heavier than you want it to be, but. Okay. Now, as frustrating as it sounds, you need to let it dry. I'm gonna run the heat one more time in here. And um, that was only coat number one, of course. And hard to see what I'm looking at, but things look like they're starting to disappear in here. Okay, now we're gonna let it sit for another 15 minutes. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of breakup on this video. Um, so the next video you'll see is basically once this is completely cured and dried and then I screw it together and remount it back on the vehicle. So there will be a part four. Um, and then of course, once we're done with that, then we'll be moving on to doing the ProLine 69 um, Nova. And I know my son will be ecstatic because that's gonna be his car I'm doing. And um, so anyway, this is uh, it for now. Hey guys, Anthony here, Triple X. So, been painting in the box here. The wings are gonna go back on the Splatter Corvette. See right there. So, I've been coming out here and shooting them. And I'm just trying to show you the progress. So, when I decide to put this video together and put it back together once it's nice and dry, then you'll get to have all the footage of the painting. Well, you didn't see me painting, but you can tell I gave it some paint. So anyway, because I want to get this done and then we'll be starting on this one. So anyway, okay guys, so I got the box back in here. Everything seems to be nice and dry. So let's go ahead and lay out the parts and we'll go over them. And nothing feels tacky, which is awesome. Okay, so here's the wing. It's still got the siding. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be bolting this all back together like such. But first we're gonna take off all this coating. And once we peel the coating off, see how nice that looks? Nice and shiny. Sorry, my neighbors are just kind of loud. Anyway, try the right side. So this is the right side. Pre-pull that off a little bit, the left side. Okay, and of course we can go ahead and take this cover off. These parts to find us all. It's getting into this. Actually, let's just try it from the middle maybe. Okay, almost 
there. And there it is. Ta-da! So, this is going to go in the front of the car. And... 4th of July, guys, so we're going to have outside noises no matter what. Okay. So, to put this thing back together... Look how pretty that's going to look. starts the video once you have this tool ready okay let's look for one five one point five excuse me guys Okay. I might have to stop the video because my neighbors decided to play some music and I don't need to get copyrighted. It's amazing. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I had to go off camera because my neighbors were playing some loud music and it was radio music and you know I don't want to get copyrighted all right so now I can pull this off and there it is guys look at that that thing looks so sweet all right so what we're gonna do now bring the car back up here and mount this on here as well and put it up underneath Boom, like that look at that I mean that ain't gonna look so good all right, so what I found out to be easier, since this thing has a teeter-tottering episode, is we can put the screws up here on the front part of the car. I just realized I'm a little thin on the paint there. Oh well. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the uh, side here we do the same thing and then we'll put the ones that go We got the three in the middle. We got to go in here and that's the good part about this. Corvette is it's got no backing so I'm able to just reach under here and put the screws in. 
since I only got one black one here for some reason, I think I'm just going to put that one in the middle. Okay guys, so we're putting the, uh, the splitter out here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt it up and I already got the back wing on and we'll show you what it looks like. Stand by. Okay guys, we're just gonna go ahead and bolt this up. And just so you know, it's, it's a lot easier to do this upside down than just trying to do it right side up. And I need to get this thing lined up. actually a lot easier to not only do it that way but to do start on one side and go to the other and let's go ahead and put the nylon nuts on here and hopefully we'll get this thing done up before I sweat away out here in this garage I am videoing okay guys putting the last one on there it is. There it is. Splitter and all. So we're going to go ahead and put this on a chassis and take some photos. So we'll be right back. 